morning, Largo. Mm. Morning. Good morning from Morocco. It is a cloudy, but still a warm, about 65 degrees. We're still in the north part of Africa, so it's not like we're exactly hanging out in this middle Sahara desert, but it's nice to be wearing shorts. Check it out. This is one of the places we we had our eyes set on for a super long time now. Morocco, as much as it's not part of Europe, we always had this fascination for what this place is all about, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the the tastes, the people, the the culture, the 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 chanting, everything that has to do with Morocco, we are super curious about and we we just got here. So we we basically parked for the night here at at this campground. Um, and we are ready to head down. We're going to Casablanca today. So we are now leaving. What town were we in anyway? Do you even know what town this is? I'm always eating in the videos. Did you notice that? <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on a second. <laughs> we are in the town of. Hold on. Asila. We should know this. A S I know. What is this? I know. A S I L A H. A S I L A H. Uh, it's about an hour south of Tangier and. They have a couple campgrounds which are super convenient because they're right off the freeway exit and what I like about it is that it's a really sleepy town. So we yeah, were able to get some sleepy. food we and everything good. else. And this is the my favorite part. When we came in, it was well, let me turn the car off. Let me turn the car off. Okay. okay. When we came in, it was moderately late and it was dark and I don't know if you could tell we were tired or whatnot, but the gentleman who runs the place, he runs it with his family, and he no. said his mom so amazing. could do us a home-cooked meal from their restaurant. We were so exhausted. To me, a restaurant and a home-cooked meal don't really go together, so I, was, I just kind of focused in on the home-cooked meal. It was a great introduction to Morocco. We had tagine, we had couscous, um, Will had a coffee. It was a great, and they delivered it to the RV, and they picked up the dishes. They delivered it with dishes, no so styrofoam cool. or something, wrapped in silver, wrapped in napkin, and then we just had to put it outside our door after. So far, and we're loving much, Morocco. And how much did we pay for that? Uh, like less than twenty bucks. Less than twenty bucks, and we can you can even get it less expensive in town. But to have it right to our door, cooked from someone's kitchen, no. I mean, goodness, amazing. This amazing. place already has my heart. We are we're just scratching the surface, guys. rest stop here in in Morocco we're stopping here real quick because we have well Avalon has a, a session with her math teacher who's back in the US so we're just gonna make sure that we have this all nice and quiet so that she can focus and everything else usually traveling and schooling while driving is no big deal but for this we want to make sure that sort of there's no interruptions and so in the meantime we're gonna check out a rest stop here and see what it looks like because what makes Morocco different from the rest of the world we don't know we're gonna find out all right, Largo, what are you supposed to be doing right now? Um, right now, I'm supposed to be taking my art, my uh, acrylic paints, and painting my face because in art, I have something where I paint my face when I was a toddler. That sounds fun. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Cafe creme? Cafe creme, yes. Okay. Um, I think I, what even, I think I just want toast. Okay. So no toast? Summer. No toast at all? No, no toast. Uh, okay. So it looks like they have a whole bunch of sandwiches there. They go for about 20 dirham and, and essentially 20 dirham is about like $2, uh, $2 and like 20 cents. So it's a really good deal here. I was super excited. I was thinking I was going to get some couscous. I didn't think I'd have tagine here, but I thought I'd have some couscous. And it's, it's just croissants. I want some, something a party. How do you know that's beer? That's beer. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely beer. That's peach. That's zero percent alcohol beer. You gotta love being in a Muslim country. No one's gonna be drunk driving here. That's good. That's good. I don't want anyone drunk. So all in, it was 109 dirham. I think it's pronounced dirham, by the way. Which is, at, it's about $12 US that we spent for two big bags of chips, for three That's croissants, a for a pot of chocolate, for a Twix bar, for a chocolate, uh, for a coffee. I don't think it's that bad. Mm. 
I mean, I think that's kind of high. Rocket highways are. It's really nice. They're really nice. They're really empty. They're very well maintained. No, no and potholes. I'm eating again. That's okay. I'm All right. eating in every shop in this video. <laughs> no. All right. So enough of the uh, the road reports. Let's let's get back to the fun. How was it? It was fine. All done. Yes. You feel smarter now. Stop it. All right. You ready to go? Yes. What's our next stop? Next up, Casablanca! I hope it's not one of those days it takes us 12 hours to go 3 hours. <laughs> Driving in Casablanca is proving to be, it's definitely not boring. I think it's very similar to Marseille. And you guys all know what happened in Marseille. Don't even go there. Will's gonna link up Don't here. even go there. <laughs> but this place has been, I mean, at the end of the day, Casablanca is the largest I mean, city in all of Morocco. And is it the largest? The largest city, like three and a half million people. And so, there's definitely more mopeds and motorcycles and bikes here than there was in Mar on, uh, Marseille. Yep, so driving here has been quite the challenge. I think it's a cross between Marseille and India. I think it's a cross between get me out of here and can you drive? And get me out of here. <laughs> It's Squala. I'm sure it's a very famous restaurant. We've been told to come here by a ton of people. Now we are we're still novices to Moroccan food. Now this is gonna be our second video from Morocco, but we've actually been here now for about five days. We've hunkered down low in campground because we had to get ourselves uh, squared away with, with school and, and work and, and quite frankly I've got an ear infection and I'm just getting over that and that's not that's not an excuse but that's the sole reason why we haven't been going daily. I just I can't get up in the morning and get ourselves sort of squared away so I've taken a little bit of a hiatus from, from vlogging. Um, it'll get back there once once the antibiotics kick in then we're good to go. Come on. Tajin is on the menu here. We've been told the food is amazing, so we're gonna go check out everything that there is to eat here. And we're gonna be here for like five weeks, so we're gonna see everything there is to see and eat everything there is to eat. And hopefully we're gonna get some locals input on this. If anyone is is from Morocco, we'd love to go ahead and get a local's insight. What are you looking forward to, Avalon? Couscous. <laughs> Couscous, you ask her that question every day for the next six weeks, gonna be the same answer, right, Avon? Couscous, 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 couscous. Mm. We're starting off with the bread and the tomato sauce that's not spicy, and then we also have a spicy version over here for Will. Mmm, it's good. They this is the way to Avalon's heart, olives and sushi. Did you, have, did you have the green or the other one? The green. Do you speak English? French. French, okay. Fish and chopped meat, okay. And food. Chicken. Chicken. And then do we dip it in the sauce? Yeah. Okay, okay. Tajine. Tajine, okay. And this is this is the fish fish tagine fish tagine okay. goat cheese endive and endive and tomato salad and couscous. Oh my gosh! Right, we're gonna dig in. I think we might have over ordered. How many pictures are you gonna take of all those? <laughs> this is gonna turn into a food vlog. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. I am so happy right now with this food. So I'm digging into the fish tagine. I actually thought the tagine would be a lot bigger and the couscous would be a lot smaller. And I don't know if this is typical across Morocco. We're gonna we're gonna explore it. But from what I can see, we probably we almost ordered two of the couscous and I'm so glad we did it because that's enough to feed all four of us. Okay. So how's the cheese, Jess? Fantastic. 
fantastic. I haven't had good goat since we were in France, and it is delicious. Avalon, how's the food? Avalon adores couscous, so we won't hear from her again until she's done. Margo, what is this? Is this carrot or is this squash? Uh, no idea. Is it good though? So we are we're wrapping up here now. We just finished all this food. I can't believe that we finished all this food here. And Largo has his class, so with the Wi-Fi being so strong here, we decided let's just have a slow, relaxing lunch and let Largo do his work. And um, it's coffee time. But after this is where right into the mosque for a tour in English for 45 minutes. Then we're gonna hit the museum, and then I think we might head to Marrakesh for the night. So, so that's our, our Casablanca experience. Tajim, mosque, hit the road. Come on, we're late. Let's go. We're super late for our walking tour. Are you having a deja vu? This is yes, one of those things where- we're always running at the last minute for our tours. And we're running that's because we're, that wow. mosque right there has our name on it and we're about two minutes away from missing our tour. So we gotta go. Go, go. You can do it. We're coming! What are you doing taking pictures? Alright, we're almost there. Almost! <sighs> we, uh, we, we're out of shape. One mile of that just destroyed us. How are you feeling, Avalon? That good. This is the Mosque of Hassan II. This is a place that was started construction in 1987, finished construction around 1992, 93, six years in the making. The only thing that we've seen in this world that's been constructed faster than the Colosseum is this place, and this place does not disappoint one bit. is considered now as the third largest and the biggest in the world. After one in Mecca and one in Medina, both cities are in Saudi Arabia. So at first glance, this place is ginormous. Now, they say that during prayer time that this place can hold up to 25,000 worshipers. Now, they say that 20,000 men are on the ground level, which is down here, and then 5,000 women up top, which raises a really big question. Why is there a disproportionate men to women thing? And at what point do the women, do the women catch up? Are there women only ceremonies? I don't know. I, I don't have answers to these questions. I'm gonna find out though. So Jess, what do you think so far? I love it. It's the third largest mosque in the world, and it's massive, and it's beautiful, and the attention to detail is just fabulous. Fabulous. There's 20,000 men on the base and then the 5,000 women are up top. They have less space available for women because women have the option to pray at home or to come and pray at the mosque. And often the women are caring for the children so they will stay at home to pray rather than come to the mosque. All right, what'd you learn, Miss Avalon? I learned that they have the crazy column thing that will absorb water. I learned that they, they have a column that basically it is a speaker. Right, so they have, col their column situation is pretty darn cool, right? Yeah. They have a column that underneath has a box 
It just looks like the base of the column and it actually yeah. houses the speakers. Yeah. And then no, the column album was referring to are what the columns are made out of to absorb the humidity since they're right here by the beach. That was really neat. And you touch it and it's not, you know, it doesn't feel, feel any like different. Feels like marble and they actually the secret ingredient. What was the secret ingredient? Eggs and soap. Egg whites and soap. You think we could make one of those? No? Not really. <laughs> So that is the end of Casablanca for us. It wasn't a, a big visit. We didn't really no, have this. Quick. We didn't have a lot to, to put on our list for this one. I mean, we have primarily, so much more to see. right? Primarily because there's a lot of other places that we really want to see, yep. and we're in the beginning of our trip. So if we spend too much time at one place in the beginning, then we're going to miss out on the other end and kind of be racing to get to get out of Morocco and meet other deadlines. So I am happy that we got to see the mosque. It's the third largest in the world. The other two are in Saudi Arabia. So I don't know when we'll be there. Maybe next week. But <laughs> but I'm glad we got to see it. It's fascinating it's beautiful inside um i love hearing sad about we didn't see more of this because i've heard so many great things about this town so here's the thing with the mosque though you can only you only can go in it on a tour and from what i understand maybe there's other tours but for the tour that you get from the center office here it's only a 45 minute tour so if you go in and you see something you want to photograph you want to photograph someone in front of a window you better do it right then and there because it's a circle and you go downstairs and then you come out so there's no going back and seeing something again unless you buy another ticket for another time and they only have like certain times during the day that you can go in right but we have no regrets we no, saw what we saw all. and we're happy to see it Just and we're ready to go on and go to marrakesh which is next but that is in a totally <gasps> different video which is after this which is when we get it uploaded yada, yada yada enjoy this hope you liked everything i love the food i'm not gonna eat for days i can't wait to learn more about the culture because i have very limited knowledge on the culture so here we go we're just starting this education yep so see you guys next time on world towning subscribe and you're gonna see a lot more in morocco because we're just we just got here au revoir, au revoir. you ready yep. yeah. okay so how's the cheese don't talk there's hints of cinnamon a little bit of turmeric it's fast